Hello. Do you have the catalog of your family tree? Do you know who your ancestors are? Do you know it beyond your great grandparents? Maybe you don't even know who your great grandparents are. Maybe you don't have the opportunity to find out who that is. Well, that's okay. Don't let this discussion bother you because you may not have your family tree, your family history. I was fortunate enough to be given my family tree on one side by someone without me even searching for it. And before I tell you how that started, let me give you the bottom line of what I know about my heritage. And then I'll get into what it means. What I believe it means. Because I believe it's very significant to my identity and my purpose. And what I'm supposed to do. Here's the story. Peter Walmer, a young man of 21, got on a wooden ship. Came out of, he came out of the Black Forest region in Germany. Got on a wooden boat in the Rhine River. Floated down the Rhine River, which incidentally went to the northwest, which is unusual for a river. Got on a boat, a ship called the Europa, the ship Europa. I don't know how big this ship was. And certainly there's information online about it. Got on there with a bunch of other people and sailed for America. 21 years old. This Peter Walmer, who came from Germany, landed in Luz, Delaware in late 1741. He landed in Luz, Delaware, went up to Philadelphia, was sworn in, which was the process to get sworn in to come into the country, moved to Lancaster, bought some land, sold that land, and bought some more land in Lancaster. He built a home. He started to raise a family, had many children. As I remember, I'd have to look it up, probably about eight. And built a church. And it was called Walmer's Church. Now, here's a young man, 21, 21 years old, got on a wooden boat, and sailed the seas. Would that be a scary thing? Could be. You get into storms, unimaginable. I don't know if he got into storms. But get this. He sailed with other people. He sailed in 1741 with Johannes Eisenhower, an ancestor of Dwight D. Eisenhower. Get that. An ancestor of Dwight D. Eisenhower, Peter Walmer sailed with. This was before 1776 when this country was founded. What's that mean? Does it mean anything? Did Peter and Johans talk during this trip and what did they talk about? Did they talk about why they were leaving their country and what they were looking for and going to America? Who knows? I can only conjecture. Peter being the age of 21, and Johans, I believe, I'd have to look it up, was probably in the range of it his 40s. So did this 40-some-year-old man convey some wisdom to Peter about why he was making this trip? What was Johans' vision for this trip? Who knows? Maybe he had great thoughts like Columbus did. Columbus who knew from scripture that the earth was a globe and not flat. Therefore, he sailed the seas and came to America. Christopher Columbus. Christopher, the name means bearer of Christ. Christopher came to America bearing Christ. 
back to my heritage. Peter Walmer came from Germany in 1742. At a couple of hundred acres. Get that, a couple of hundred acres he ended up with in Lancaster County. Talk about prosperity. And here's an interesting, interesting point. Now, this church that he started, what is, is still exists at what is now called Fort Indian Town Gap. The first church, a log church, burned down some hundred years after it was built. Then the second church was built which still exists today, still operates today under the name of Salem Walmers Union Church. Birthed out of what Peter Walmer did in the 1700s. In my searching and in my discovery of this story, as you travel from Ford Indian Town Gap, along Route 22 towards Harrisburg, and if you stop in every church along that road, you will find Walmers buried there. Many Walmers. The lady who gave me this genealogy of Peter Walmer, my ancestor, she gave me the genealogy right on down to my grandmother. Elizabeth Walmer, who married a bar bush. She told me that she tied over 2,000 Walmers back to this one man, Peter. There was only one that she could not connect back. There's a message in that, a powerful message in that. One young man came to America, started a church, which spread across the land, across this area, across this region, to many other churches through many generations. This is the introduction to my heritage that has great meaning for me, but I am hoping will give you great meaning in discovering your own heritage. Maybe you won't find your family tree. Maybe you'll have to search it out. Maybe your great, your, your, 10th great-grandfather didn't build a church, but maybe he did something else. Maybe you and your current job and your current situation, you're living out something that was started by ancestors that's very important, extremely important. See if you can dig into your heritage a bit, your physical heritage, and you might find some interesting things. If you want to call me and talk to me and ask how to do that, I can give you some pointers. My name is James Eugene Barbush of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, living in a small town outside of Harrisburg called Linglestown on Blue Mountain Parkway, which is right over here. And I am right now at the top of Blue Mountain, shouting out this testimony from the mountaintops about my heritage, which has great significance for me and, and all of my relatives. Have a great day. God has a great plan for you. Seek him. He'll show it to you.